Hello hockey fans and welcome back to another video. In the year 2020, the National Hockey League is very much a young man's game. Thanks to the league continuing to shift towards faster skating and fancy stick handling, it isn't uncommon to see a number of players on an NHL roster who aren't even old enough to legally buy alcohol in America. This baby boom hasn't always been the case though, with such events as the Two World Wars or the 1967 expansion requiring older veteran players who had spent their entire pro careers on the fringe of the NHL to step into the league and fill the gaps left behind by past players or created by new teams emerging. However, no player either past or present that has ever suited up in the league has been quite as old as this guy. This is the story of Gordie Howe, the oldest player in NHL history. In order to tell this incredible tale, allow me to take you back to June 22nd, 1979, when the National Hockey League announced that they had negotiated a deal with their rival league of the last decade, the World Hockey Association, which would see the WHA cease operations fold two of their struggling franchises, and merge the other four remaining teams, the Edmonton Oilers, the New England Whalers, the Quebec Nordiques, and the Winnipeg Jets, into the NHL. Though these four new teams were filled with young up-and-coming prospects or fringe NHLers getting ready to suit up for their maiden voyage into the NHL, the New England Whalers had one player on their roster who was certainly no rookie to the league. In fact, this man was considered to be the greatest player the NHL had ever seen and was known to most as Mr. Hockey, Gordie Howe. During his 25-year NHL career, all with the Detroit Red Wings between 1945 and 1971, Gordie Howe practically rewrote the NHL's history books, being named a six-time Art Ross winner, a six-time Hart Memorial winner, a four-time Stanley Cup champion, a five-time scoring leader, and a 22-time NHL All-Star. Not only that, but Howe finished his career with 786 goals and 1,809 points in just 1,687 NHL games, the most goals, assists, and points of any player to ever suit up in the National Hockey League at that time. Yeah, this guy was a pretty good hockey player. Having called it a day on his playing career in 1971, the 43-year-old forward's iconic number 9 was promptly retired by the Red Wings organization, and Howe decided to join Detroit's front office in order to serve the only franchise he had ever played for in a managerial capacity. However, his plan to give up playing hockey would last all of two years, as Howe saw that he didn't really have any influence in his new front office role, and he began to feel the itch to get back onto the ice and continue playing the sport he loves. Despite being the best to have ever played and the greatest Red Wing ever, Detroit had no interest in bringing back a now 45-year-old forward with chronic wrist problems onto their roster. So Howe decided to undergo surgery to fix his wrist and looked for an opportunity elsewhere which he found with the Houston Arrows of the NHL's bitter rival, the World Hockey Association. If you thought that the 45-year-old Howe would be a one-season wonder in the WHA, you would be surprisingly mistaken, as Howe would go on to play in six seasons in the WHA, split between the Houston Arrows and the New England Whalers, where he scored 174 goals and 508 points in just 419 games. Not only that, but Howe also won the league's Avco World Trophy as WHA playoff champions twice, was named league MVP once, and was also named a two-time WHA All-Star. This collection of awards and accolades alone would be more than enough for any pro player during the height of their career, but considering how achieved all of this between the ages of 45 and 51, it's pretty astonishing. Having spent the 78-79 season with the Whalers in the WHA, and with the team about to merge into the NHL for the upcoming 79-80 season, Howe was faced with the possibility of potentially returning to the NHL. 
However, a complication arose when it was realised that Howe's NHL contract rights were still owned by the Detroit Red Wings. With Howe wanting to remain with the Whalers and continue playing with his two sons Mark and Marty, and with Detroit showing no interest in bringing an over 50 year old onto their roster, the two teams reached an agreement where Detroit would not reclaim him and Howe could stay right where he was. In order to make sure he was fit and healthy enough to make a proper return to the NHL, Howe underwent extensive testing during the offseason in order to get to the bottom of the dizzy spells that he had been experiencing during his last year in the WHA. After the tests were complete, and Howe felt that he was good and healthy enough to not compromise his long-term health if he played, the forward decided to tie up his skates, put on the Whalers jersey, and get ready to make his triumphant return to the National Hockey League. On October the 11th, 1979, Gordie Howe finally made his long-awaited return to the NHL as a member of the newly renamed Hartford Whalers. Eight years after retiring from the league initially and having his jersey lifted to the rafters of Detroit, Howe was taking to the ice in the Whalers' first NHL game against the Minnesota North Stars to kick off their maiden 79-80 NHL campaign. Though he would go scoreless in his first game back in the bigs, it wouldn't be long before Mr. Hockey was up to his old tricks, as he scored his first goal of the season against the Pittsburgh Penguins two nights later on October 13th, and had his first multi-point game of the season against the Toronto Maple Leafs on November 2nd. Over the course of the year, the aging Howe went on to play in all 80 games of the season, where he scored an impressive 15 goals and 41 points along the way. In the biggest, toughest, most talented hockey league in the entire world, Gordie Howe was able to score at a point every two game pace over the course of an entire season as an over 50 year old player. Say what you want about the quality of the league at the time, or the era in which it was done, but you can't deny that someone scoring at such a pace, at such an old age, whilst also having been away from the NHL for almost an entire decade, is just incredible. Though these numbers were nowhere near his career highs of years gone by, this historic season was good enough to earn Howe his 23rd and final trip to the NHL All-Star Game as well as help the Whalers clinch a berth in the playoffs in their first NHL season, with a 27-34-19 record and an 8th place finish in the Wales Conference. On April the 11th, 1980, as the Whalers were defeated 4-3 by the Montreal Canadiens and Hartford were swept in the first round of the playoffs, Gordie Howe played in his final game in the National Hockey League at 52 years and 10 days old. In doing so, Howe set a new NHL record for the oldest player to ever play in an NHL game, surpassing the previous record set by Maurice Roberts in 1951, who suited up in a single game for the Chicago Blackhawks at the ripe old age of 45 years and 345 days old. For context, the closest that any player has come to breaking this record in the years that have followed is defenseman Chris Chelios who last played in 2010 at 48 years and 71 days old during a seven-game stint with the Atlanta Thrashers, where he went scoreless in that span. So not only is Howe still the oldest NHL player ever by almost four whole years, but he did it while posting a 40-point season. Did I mention that Howe was a good hockey player? Because he was a damn good hockey player. Following his 26th and final NHL season, the 52-year-old Howe decided that enough was enough. Father time had been calling, and he was ready to hang up his skates and retire from the league for good this time. Howe would step away from the NHL and the sport of hockey until 1997, when he briefly came out of retirement and signed a one-game contract with the IHL's Detroit Vipers at 69 years of age, in order to become the first hockey player in history to compete in a professional hockey league over six different decades. Howe took to the ice for a single shift with the Vipers, set his record, then promptly called it a day and retired for the third and final time in his career. Once he had officially retired for the last time, Howe would continue to be recognised for his incredible achievements and in turn receive even more accolades, 
such as a stone on Canada's Walk of Fame, a bridge in Detroit named after him, and a bronze statue of himself outside of the Joe Louis Arena, which has now since been relocated to Howe's home province of Saskatchewan. Howe also continued to be an outstanding ambassador for both the sport of hockey and for the community as a whole, spreading awareness and raising funds to help fight against dementia and Alzheimer's, before ultimately passing away on June 10th, 2016, at 88 years old. Following his death, the NHL's current all-time leader in goals, assists, and points, the great one Wayne Gretzky, who idolised Gordie Howe throughout his childhood and his pro career, said that he would love to see the NHL retire Howe's number 9, similar to how his number 99 has been, whilst the Detroit Red Wings roster all wore a patch on their jersey with Howe's number 9 for the entire 16-17 season, paying tribute to the greatest player their franchise has, and likely will ever see. Though I'm sure no player or fan could have ever predicted this, thanks to a rival league going bust and eventually merging with the NHL, Gordie Howe was able to add another record to his already prolific name throughout the hockey history books. By playing at such an old age, Howe might have set the bar so high that this record might never be broken, especially due to the way that the game is played today. Whether or not you think it was the right thing to do for his health, his career, or his overall legacy, you can't deny that watching the greatest player the league had ever seen post a 40-point season as a 52-year-old reminded fans everywhere just how incredible Gordie Howe really was. After all, they don't call him Mr. Hockey for nothing, do they, folks? And that's the story of the oldest player in NHL history. What do you guys think about Gordie Howe's record-breaking season or his 26-year NHL career as a whole? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Antti Hananen, Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Paul Malia, Jordan Whitehead, and Martin Tolnus, as well as a huge thank you to Max Artis for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.